Hey guys, Ru here with Not A Bit For Blender and this one we're gonna be chilling with box cutter and hard ups and create some kind of a um, container because why the hell not. So let's make it flatter and kind of like this, uh, control A scale, shift alt click these and let's just bevel them to something like this and let's bevel this thing, okay. So, boom. Now we need to slice this to make it, you know, uh, look proper. So first of all, I think what I'm gonna do is drop a chamfer here to make it a bit more interesting. Okay, let's slice this thing and uh, let's maybe slice it like this. Left side doesn't matter because we're gonna be, you know, mirroring this anyway to the other side. So select both and mirror. Right, uh, perfect. Now, let's see that. Let's go to the side view and let's grab this. And uh, let's grab a box and slice something in here. And this is already mirrored, which is good. Let's recall this cutter. And let's see this. Um, now, do I want to taper this or not? I know I could have tapered it, you know, with Shift T, but uh, I I wasn't sure if I want to taper it or not. Hmm. Maybe I'm gonna select everything like this and SX and make it wider. There we go. That could do. All right, and that's cool. So this one could be a little bit more. Uh, extended slightly this way so we could have some kind of a handle in here so what we're gonna do is select this um, object view and cut inside press W for wedge cut and do something like this okay and then we're gonna cut one more time in here to introduce a handle so remove this wedge cut bevel this maybe not so crazily um, so, one more time, see, come on, what's going on, come on, let's go, there we go, glitched out T for solidification, and we got these two handles, okay, cool, now let's keep going, so select the top part and um, drop something in here, and W, and shift R to rotate it to this side, and do something like this, press B for bevel. In fact, let's go with uh, this kind of a bevel, right? And we could just simply ex extend it upwards here and RX and simply do something like this, which would be pretty cool. And maybe that's a little bit too deep, you know? Maybe not so deep, maybe some lattice. GZ and drop it down. Uh, that's maybe too deep. There you go. Uh, let's try to uh, sharpen this and run a mark sharp here. And how are we looking? We're looking probably awful because we're too close to the edge. So let's allow one more time. GX and move it in here to the middle. GY move it away. I uh, just rotate it a little bit more I think this should do something like that right cool so we're going to you know uh, mirror this and this one as well there we go well that didn't work well did it oh fuck's sake yeah so let's move it in here and maybe slightly deeper and then let's just apply it and, you know, mirror to the other side, mirror this one as well. So they actually mirrored. Cool. Now let's grab this one. And I wonder if we can actually bevel this, not this one, this one. Can we? Yeah, this is going to cause some problems. Let's leave it alone. All right. So uh, this one here at the top, right? We need a, you know, mark sharp. Uh, that's important. And also this edge here should be running like this right uh, 
so this should be uh, whoops removed okay so that's that and let me see this all right okay let's cut some interest in here so let's grab this top part and let's grab angon and let's cut something in here something cool press b for bevel okay cut it in for some reason it didn't work out uh, which is interesting let me see this mirror that's the one isn't it yeah okay let's do it like this then so let's uh let's see here um there's some bevel issue here well the bevel is crazy we can just go easy on the bevel a little bit you know um right and then we can just you know adjust this bevel as well okay so just reduce the number of um verts or just make it a little bit more supple like this right and um we're gonna cut it so um and gone turn off cyclic and let's slice it so t and boom and we're gonna move this because reasons right so move it to the right a little bit and rotate it just a little bit something like that i think that's pretty cool this bit was a little bit too harsh in here so i mean too you know too supple kind of too soft so i'm just going to um you know make it a bit more edgy yeah um, again the bevel here has been catching so uh, probably what we need to do is simply drop the bevel on the main thing you could do either this or um, play with the um, uh, manually add bevels to um, to these cutouts right you know just only two ways to do this so so let's grab this uh, this piece and move it in here and you know let's sharpen this and basically select this piece and individual origins one more time scale it oh scale it and we should be good Scaling a little bit weirdly, to be honest. Uh, something is not right here, so let me just check this out here. Press 3 to clean it up, and let's see now. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with uh, machine tools in here and fix this thing, so... Let's scale it a little bit. In fact, you know what, let's apply all the mirrors, because I think... The mirrors is what's messing things up in here, so let's just go to Operation Smart Apply. And then, uh, you know, let's do this again, right? There we go, that's much better. And we're going to have to intervene in here, so uh, select this edge, right? And simply go to unfuck and just, you know, relax this a little bit, right? And this is the only way to do it, guys. So, uh, Y menu, unfuck, and that's mesh machine for you, right? So now if I'm going to mirror this with shift, I can actually increase the bevel on this one again, so and before it breaks, right? So there you go. All right. So that's that. Um, let's see. That's okay. So now let's see. Ah, oh, yes, handles. So let's let's drop some handles here with box, and we could actually um, drop them in here. I think it would look okay. Again, mirror, so GX. Always forget about this part. And Shift 2, cool. We could actually, um, you know, we could actually solidify this. So, um, yeah. Solidify it and sharpen this and then circle and you know I'm 
drop a circle here. It's more or less in the middle, which is good. So uh, we're gonna grab this top and control click on mark and we need to as shift to Z, make it a little bit smaller and peachy. Now let's grab an edge. Uh, so shift D P and where is it here? Come on. GZ, there we go. And let's align it here in the middle. More or less. And, you know, combine these two, select these two, easy down. A local view and what the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. What on earth is going on here? Let's remove this edge. What is this fandango? Um, mark and let's bevel these. So control shift B and something like this. And then it should be uh, mesh tools and curve extract, right? So come on. There we go. S, uh, one S and control two. And this should be some kind of a handle here. Um, we could just make it a little bit less crazy. So let's grab this and position it somewhere here in the middle. Something like that will do. And just let's copy this across. And these handles are a little bit boring, so we're going to make them a bit more interesting. So, um, this should be enough and move them down. All right. And uh, let's a visual to mesh. And uh, let's maybe select these two control plus twice and um, curve extract um, let's sharpen this and then end gone Doesn't make any sense, not really. Let's just create a cut like this, maybe. This could be actually pretty cool. So let's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Something like this, sharpen this and copy to the other side. Really no. Um, there we go. Um, And then let's sharpen this and uh, come on, um, let's multiply. Select both of them and in fact, you know what, we could um, straighten these out and, and drop some more here in between. And one more here and one more here. In fact, we could just uh, copy this one. So G X, I mean G Y, sorry, and simply, you know, uh, symmetrize it to the other side. There you go. And select these and E macro them, right? And then select these faces and scale them on Y and then sharpen and bevel weight. Okay, and that's a little bit more interesting handle. So uh, reset mirror and copy, boom, done. So power safe. Let's make this box a bit more interesting, shall we? So let's apply this. I'm not gonna be making it openable, just, uh, you know, just a box, so um, let's chamfer this a little bit. Did it work the way I wanted to? Yes, it did. Cool. 
so there's a chamfer which is going to create a nice separation and uh, which is awesome we need some um you know some separation of the legs as well so what i would do actually would be cool in my opinion uh shift a let's try this one shift a cylinder and let's make it 44 make it smaller and uh, move it in here and something like this maybe and what we're gonna do is chamfer the top like this we're gonna slice the bottom like this and I think this is actually too big so make this smaller and do something like this here let's see how we're looking yeah maybe this uh, this chamfer is not the best idea make it straight but then it's gonna stand out um, or we could just hide it inside here you know like this this could also work and simply um, operation union so boolean and union probably because it's the mirror right yeah there we go so go to the top and let's line this properly so I think it's actually pretty good yep so shift 2 and let's uh, you know apply this and let's just uh, uh, bevel this a little bit so it's kind of like a box and also we could do is uh, select this bottom edge and you know chaffer it a little bit as well we're gonna add some interest cool so we got this crate and now we need some interest on the bottom right so let's just simply uh, grab a box and uh, maybe draw a line here and k for knife select everything around and ear macro and outset it a little bit and uh, scale it so s z scale it down and how are we looking we're looking pretty good we need something in here of course so let's just grab a uh, let's just grab a knife maybe and bevel this this could take a while and let's see this select these two and yeah macro and outset it and I think we are again working on the mirror side, so uh, here, outset it, there we go, right, and let's chamfer this down, like this, okay, interesting, we could create some kind of a lock in here, so, um, again, I think it's this side, right, always get confused guys um, let's switch to cutter and object is fine and just draw it in here okay so sharpen and add a cursor to select it and select all this switch to cursor and r y and simply rotate it inwards to work wait i didn't select everything today there we go r y and boom so now we want to bevel this on both sides right so if i select this one and slice through and press bevel right you see only one side is going to get beveled but when you press q you're gonna get, you're gonna get the blender to crush. How about that? <sighs> Control S, most recent, 
boom where were we right so click on this and come on and one more time uh, drop this and bevel and Q shift to life and let's move it a little bit deeper on x-axis here and move this face come on uh, outside here okay and then we're going to switch it to solidify all right when the last the rest really is you know down to uh, basically uh, decals right this is just a simple design guys nothing fancy it's a little bit too deep so just let's recover it move it up let's bevel this a little bit and let's solidify it yeah it's gonna be better gonna get some notches or something and this should do Yeah, the rest should be literally decals, you know. Uh, I wouldn't add much more in here, to be honest. Um, we could add some screws in here, but like I said, this should be all decaled up. So, this top here could use some, uh, some paneling or something. So, uh, let's, in, in fact, let's... Uh, Let's curve extract this. Whoa, okay then. Let's just select this. And this up to here, right? And then one more time. Curve extract. The hell? That's fascinating. Let's just apply this and do it again. Curve extract. There we go. Why is it curve extracting with all this junk? That's what I want to know. So let's select this one, Control I to invert it. Oh, I mean Control L, Control I, and let's delete these and Bob Jungle. And uh, let's go to side view here and go with Ngon and slice the top and slice the bottom. Right. And I think the bevel is the issue here. There we go. Bevel is too big. And also we got some flipped normals here on the top. You see that? This kind of like a roofing. It's clear indication of flipped normals. So um, select everything. Uh, Alt N. Flip outside. I mean, recalculate outside, and you're good to go. And then we could uh, we could do. Huh. Fascinating. Alright then. Well, there you go. So this would be kind of like notches in here or something. Out of the cavity. How are we looking? We're looking pretty good. So let's go to side view. And uh, let's grab a box. <coughs> let's drop a few more cuts in here. Maybe in a view mode, it's going to be better. There we go. Okay. In fact, the overlap with these ones, that's not a good idea. We should make them somewhere, maybe in a corner. So I'll tell you what. Select this one and Q. And then simply rotate with Shift. And then what we're going to do is draw it with a line. So with a line box like this. Hold Control and boom and this is gonna create a lot of shading issues because it's in the corner so we're gonna have to fix this with um don't know if you can fix this now because oh we can there you go like this with some edges the only thing is we will need to you know fix these so basically uh move them a little bit to the side and move them a little bit here to the side and it should do sharpen right okay 
so there you go a bit of a box now this as well could be you know sharpened and in fact let's apply uh, let's multiply this so we can select these and uh, control IP and uh, let's go to side view and you know turn off this line box and just uh, introduce a couple of notches in here so let's grab this piece and run some loops supporting loops which should help and we're going to mirror this across all well that's a quick exercise for you guys with box cutter and hard ops if you're interested in buying these add-ons there are links in the video description so you know go ahead and check it out these add-ons are awesome and I highly recommend them. Let's switch it to individual regions and scale it in actually a little bit and chair for this. So, oh, without this, maybe. So, one more time, just chair for this one, right? This is mirror part, I think. Let me see this one. And the bevel is overshooting now. You see that? Because the chamfer is too small so let's select it uh, to its own selection and simply drop the bevel see that overshooting boom it's like if you go too far the bevel is gonna it's gonna overshoot so um select just this one and simply lower the bevel there we go and it's already mirrored so we don't have to worry about the other side all right guys well uh, thanks for watching catch you next video